हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक सो सो फार वी हैव डिस्कस्ड अबाउट द एसोसिएशन मेट्रिक्स ओके एंड नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस हाउ दिस एसोसिएशन रूल माइनिंग हेल्प्स इन फाइंडिंग द रिलेवेंट आइटम सेट्स एंड विच विल एक्चुअली हेल्प इन मार्केट बास्केट एनालिसिस ओके सो एज ए पार्ट ऑफ स्टेप वन वाट वी आर डूइंग ऑल पॉसिबल आइटम सेट्स आर जेनरेटेड ओके सो वाट एवर लिस्ट ऑफ आइटम्स वी हैव फ्रॉम दैट वी आर जेनरेटिंग द ऑल पॉसिबल आइटम सेट्स से आई हैव ए बी सी डी फाइव आइटम्स आई हैव सो इन दैट केस आई कैन हैव आइटम सेट्स हैविंग ऑल द single elements that is a b c d e those will be the um, item sets and then i can have item sets having the two elements that is a comma b b comma c c comma d d comma e e comma a like that right all possible combinations then i have three elements item sets that is a comma b comma c um they comma c comma d c comma d comma e like that right all possible three element item sets then i can have four element item sets that is a b c d b c d e c d e a like that and then i can have uh, five element item set that is a b c d e right so all these possible item sets are generated from the items available then i am identifying the frequent item sets frequent item sets means that i am keeping one threshold value for the support okay so i can generate the support for uh, all these item sets i can have the item sets of different lengths and the support can be calculated based on that and uh, suppose i am keeping a support value of 0.3 so that means that uh, the item sets who are having the support value of more than 0.3 will be considered and uh, item sets having support value less than 0.3 will be ignored right so i item sets having support value more than 0.3 are called the frequent item sets okay and um, you understand that as there are only five items and i can have so many uh, possible item sets and when there are thousands of items then there are many huge number of items is possible and then calculating the support for all the items is it is uh, really difficult right so in that situation a priori principle comes into picture so what it says it says that all subsets of frequent items is must also be frequent what does that mean that uh, i'm saying that suppose uh, a comma b comma c this item set is having support value of 0.35 so it is more than the threshold value so i am considering that as frequent item set so when this is a frequent item set that is abc then obviously a comma b or b comma c or a comma c or a or b or c all these item sets will be having the support value more than this 0.35 so what i am saying that uh, when there is a particular support value for a item set then all the possible subsets of that item set will be having the support value more than the support value for the original item set uh, we can have some example so from this diagram i understand that the total number of transactions having bread is 70 plus 10 80 and total number of transactions having soap is 10 plus 4 14 and total number of transactions having both bread and soap is 10 okay so when i am considering the uh, support value for the item set bread comma soap then it will be something <coughs> uh, something for the value 10 but when i am considering only for soap then it it will increase support will increase and when i am considering only bread at the item set the support is increasing that means i can conclude that the support value of the individual items that is bread and soap is always more than the support value of their combined item set so that's what is being told by the a priori principle so i can say that support value of a comma b is always more than a comma b comma c so this is called the anti monotone property of support okay and uh, from that we can go in the just the opposite side as well that superset of infrequent item set will also be infrequent so just the opposite thing i'm saying so you understand that um, the support value of bread is more than the support value of bread comma soap so that means that uh, whenever i am moving to the super sets then the support value will decrease 
right so if i'm finding that okay the support value of bread is infrequent maybe uh, suppose the support value is um, not crossing the threshold so that means in any transaction where bread is present with other items the support value cannot be more than the support value of bread itself so that's why for the super sets the support value will decrease will go on decrease right so that's why when i am finding one item set having the um, infrequent uh, support value that means that i don't need to check the, the super sets and when i am having a um, item set having the uh, frequent uh, item set that means it is having a support value more than threshold then i can al also consider all the subsets of that item set because they will all have the uh, support value more than threshold so that way in the both sides of the item sets i can consider them without calculating the support value right so you understand so uh, when i have item set having a frequent uh, item set so if i am getting an item set which is frequent that means all its subsets are frequent and when i am getting a infrequent item sets then all its supersets are infrequent so these two um, principles i can consider and it will help me getting the um, frequent item sets much more quickly right so based on these principles we are um, talking about a priori algorithm that means actually what happens exactly what is being done so what we do first we generate all frequent item sets having only one item so maybe if there are five items then i am i am generating five item sets having each element and then i am calculating their support and i am taking only the frequent item sets means suppose a b c d e these are five item sets so um, from our example so suppose a comma b comma c d e they are all the individual item item sets and i am calculating their support and suppose a b c d e these four are actually uh, frequent item set and e is not so i am just removing e and not only that i will not consider any super set of e going forward okay so as i am writing in the second step that i am generating item set of length 2 so whenever i am generating length 2 i will I will not consider any item set of uh, having this E element because the single um, item E set uh, is not having the uh, threshold value, it is not reaching the threshold value for support. So that is why um, it will not, um, it will not um, do for uh, the all the supersets of E as well. Okay, So I am not considering that, then I am considering the length 3 item sets and again here also so in the length 2 item sets i had first removed um, not consider this e element uh, item sets and then i have i have calculated the uh, uh, support for the all the um, uh, two element item sets and i have taken only the frequent item sets and then when i am going to the next step then i am creating this length 3 item sets which will be only from the length to item sets which are frequent right so at each step what i am doing i am calculating the support i am i am identifying the frequent item sets and in the next step i am not considering the item sets which are not frequent in the last item last step right and uh, i am not considering their super sets so that way at each level i can just you know uh, reduce the number of item sets and that way i am continuing the process till the length of the item set reaches maximum length of the item set so uh, suppose in this example you can understand that first i will create one element item sets i will identify the frequent item sets then i will generate the two element item sets only only having the elements from the frequent item sets then i generate their support and identify the two element frequent item sets and based on that i create the three element item sets okay and then again i am calculating their support and uh, then i am identifying the frequent item sets and based on that i go to the next level and create four element item set and so on so that way uh, after this algorithm is executed i am getting all the frequent item sets which are having the support value more than the threshold okay so now i am moving to the step two 
so in the step 2 what i am doing i am generating all possible rules from the frequent item sets okay so what we are doing here our purpose is that now i got the frequent item sets having the support value more than the threshold and now i am checking their confidence level and here also i am taking one threshold value for the confidence and i am going to have the frequent item sets only having the um, confidence value more than the threshold i will consider only the uh, record sets item sets which are having the confidence value more than the threshold okay and uh, I can say that confidence for uh, this suppose x to y I can write uh, as support of x y by support of x so you can you can just take back the formula for confidence and from there you can derive that I can always write that confidence for x to y equal to support of x y divided by support of x right so this x y this is the um, uh, list of items in the item set so suppose in my item set i have four elements a comma b comma c comma d so if that is the case uh, you can understand that this thing i can write in different ways means if there are total four elements i can have uh, three elements in the antecedent and one in the consequent or uh, two in both antecedent and consequent or one in antecedent and three in consequent so that way i can have different combination of elements so if i write it that way you can understand that this numerator part will always be fixed because ultimately i am calculating the support for those four elements so that will be the same but what will change this denominator because you know that uh, the support of x means it is only the antecedent so if there is one element in antecedent there is two element in antecedent or there are three elements in antecedent the support is going to change and actually as and when you are uh, increasing the items in the antecedent it will decrease the support we know from a priori principle right <coughs> so as our elements are increasing in the left part of this then this support value is going to decrease and the and as the support value this part is going to decrease that means that uh, in this equation it will increase the confidence so i can say that increase of items in antecedent decreases support for antecedent and increases confidence right so the confidence will increase so that's why i can write this you can see here that i have written confidence of a comma b comma c to d is greater than equal to b comma c to a comma d is greater than equal to c to a comma b comma d so you can see here that this confidence is more when there are uh, more elements in the antecedent part so as an as an when i am decreasing the elements in the antecedent and increasing it in the consequent then the confidence is also reducing so how how this process is done so rules taken with only one consequent first so first we take one consequent and uh, we calculate the confidence and then we gradually increase consequent and then we again calculate the confidence and that way repeat until one item is left in the antecedent right so after that this process will stop uh, but you know that suppose this this thing okay at as a first step i am taking one element in the consequent and three in the uh, antecedent okay and i am calculating the confidence and when i have calculated the confidence i found that this confidence is less than the minimum confidence level i have set so it will anyway will not go in the frequent item set but if this is not going in the frequent item set then these calculations are not required because uh, when i am arranging it this way the confidence will reduce so as this first one is having the confidence less than threshold so i don't need to calculate the rest part so at any step if i find that okay um, the confidence is less than the minimum confidence then i don't need to go in the right side of this equation so that way i can reduce the number of calculations so after this step what i am getting that i am getting the frequent item sets which are having uh, support value which is more than the threshold set by me and the confidence value that is also more than the threshold i have set
so i have set up association rules which satisfy both the minimum support and minimum confidence condition so once i get all these rules then i can search them for highest values of lift to make business decision so uh, once i have this set of rules are available set of uh, item sets are available then i can take the maximum value of lift or leverage right so because they they help us to have the um, close relationship between the items within the item set so i can filter out always those particular item sets and uh, they can help us to identify that, that okay which items are good together right and based on that we can take some decisions in the market basket analysis so that way association rule mining helps in identifying the uh, important item sets and uh, that will decide that how the items will be um, uh, will be present in the uh, different racks or different locations in the market and uh, which items will be close with each other like that so that is the um, that is the scenario here and in the um, next tutorial we are going to discuss the um, practical demo using python library okay so in the next session we will show that how to implement this a priori algorithm and this association rule mining using python library so for now thank you